ये रोड से हम आए हैं और चलिए आइए अब देखते हैं टैकू गामा की चिपेंजी सेंचुरी ये है इसका एंट्रेंस ये सारे वेटिंग हॉल्स बने हुए हैं Okay, so good afternoon. Yeah. Welcome to Takugama Chimpanzee Sanctuary. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, my name is Alfred and okay. I am your tour guide. So Takugama was founded in November 1995 and mm -hmm. our work here is to rescue and rehabilitate orphan and captive chimpanzees. So we normally get our chimps from people's homes across Sierra Leone because in Sierra Leone people are in the habit of keeping chimpanzees as pet and killing mm -hmm. them for meat. Okay. And so yeah, we are against that. At the moment, um, the 115 chimpanzees we have, we mm -hmm. normally get them all across the Galilee. Yeah, and um, when we come to see them, we do advise our visitors not to try to interact with these things here. Because most of them have been with humans. We understand sometimes you want to be nice and friendly, you want to wave your hands or you want to interact with them. They may get a wrong interpretation and they may stone, mm. they may throw rocks. Okay. So want you to be safe, it's better to go quietly and observe them as they interact. Okay, okay. And while doing that, we agree to take pictures and make videos of the chimps. Okay. We can even share them okay. so that people will know the work that Kugama is doing. Okay, and also okay. on the tour, you can ask as many questions to make it interactive. Okay. So you're welcome once again. Thank you. Who founded this? Um, yeah, Takugama was founded by Mr. Bala Amaasekaran. Okay. He's originally from uh, Sri Lanka, but now he's been a Sierra because he has been here for the past 40 years or so. Okay. Yeah. He actually founded the sanctuary. Okay, how many chimpanzees are there inside? Well, we have 115. 115, yes. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay, then so now. So I have a list of our sponsors. Okay. Yeah, these are our foreign donors. We depend on these donations that we receive mm -hmm. from the partners to run the sanctuary as we are not getting direct funding from the mm -hmm. government of Sierra Leone. Okay. Yeah. And we are working in six districts across Sierra Leone. And most of these ones support our outreach programs. On the other side again, we have corporate sponsors. Jisha Kandas, okay. Rancho Blue and few others. Okay. <laughs> and also when we rescue the chimpanzees for the first time they arrive in chimps we don't just take them and join them with our resident chimps okay at the back of this printed wall we have the quarantine okay, chimpanzees okay. are 98.6 percent genetically similar to humans okay they can get our diseases so for the babies we won't see them now mm -hmm. but at the end of the tour if you are not afraid of height we mm -hmm. have the tower that stands 70 feet tall mm -hmm. we will climb and then see their own enclosure Okay. I hope you try that at the end. Here all rescue chimpanzees come? Yes. So at this at the back of this um, um paint, painted wall, mm -hmm. we have about four babies that are going to the health check. Okay. After that we have the nursery okay. where we have up to twenty eight of them. Okay, okay. So 
here we have some of their pictures. So these are our ambassadors. They represent the team. We have here at Takugama. And um, we also encourage our visitors who want to support us by being a team guardian for $5 a month or $60 a year. You can also scan the QR code and then you know more about yeah. the chimpanzee and more information. All the chimpanzees we have have names. And interestingly, they know their names. Yeah, when the caregiver calls them, like during feeding, they respond to the names. Somebody. And Tom over there Tom. is our oldest chimpanzee. Oldest Tom. Tom. Okay. He's old. He's 43 years old. 43. Yes. Yeah. Oldest chimpanzee. Yeah, yeah. Three body. Okay. So we have more pictures of babies. Yeah, we have lots of baby chimps. Okay, baby chimps. Over there we have some enclosure. Right over there, but he's maybe lying okay. on the ground. So maybe on our way back we will see Tom. And then we have the milk room where we give some milk and other food stuff for the baby chains, mm -hmm. as well as staff. Mm So you can also make from yeah. down. Can you do it from down? Yes. Yeah. 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 This man, Tom? No. No. That one there over. Okay. So where you see the tree right over there, at the back we have a small enclosure. That one is more test. Mm -hmm. He's the job someone that likes to do rocks at people. So this is the this is the second enclosure, okay. and um, the one going over there is the boss for this group, the dominant male. This group boss. Yeah. His name is Mark. No. And he is 15 years old. 15 years. 15 years. 15. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we have mostly teenagers, and they know exactly what they should do. You see them using the rocks to crack the nuts. Okay. Yeah, you see. They're cutting rocks. Yeah, they use rocks. They, 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 they. That tells you they also know how to. Yeah. So yeah, this is the second enclosure we have. Fourteen of them here. So the others are responding to the caregiver's call because. They live inside the jungle. Yeah, they have to live on the outside. Right. For for these ones, they live outside there because we want them to learn some skills and be more socialized. But as the time goes on, we have to move them to the forest area. Okay. Where they start going to the forest and finding their own food. Okay. So for now they depend on us for food. That's the reason we feed them for to five or six times a day.
Biar kata ni mas. Tak kejar lagi. Two babies are there. Nah iya. So he's also about to cut the knot with a big stone. Mhm. Yeah, with a big rock. So kau tak kahit mana ni motor? Mm -hmm. But then this one is a bit different from the second one because here they, oh you can hear them from the back. Yeah. Okay. So these ones they spend most of their time in the forest. Now they are not here because they are they are searching for their wild fruit, relaxing, yeah. and then the caregiver will come and he's going to call them. Okay. We have 20, give... 22 of them here. Okay. Yeah, 22 chimps. The next capture the girls here. Mm -hmm. So when they come here now, they start living in the forest and they become more independent. Mm -hmm. Somebody get me! Give me a They call? Yeah, they mm -hmm. call them. Yeah, so they live in the inside the forest? Yeah, they live in the in the forest. So, so how they, many times they have to eat? The, these ones we have, we only give them like three or four times. So the rest mm -hmm. we allow them all. Coming? They are coming. So because they have the forest, we feed them less. They go and search for their own food. Mm -hmm. They come inside. Yeah, uh, these ones. No, they are not coming here because they have this fence. The okay. fence is electrified. Okay. It has current. Okay. Yeah. They are playing. So they are giving them some peanuts. Peanuts, yeah. okay. <laughs> now you see they only care about the, the dinner to eat it. After that they go back to the fire. Yeah, the drinking water. Yeah. They know how to operate the water fountain. Oh, they know. Yeah, they know. There is a little knob, they go and push it and then drink. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can get some pump, they are also for you. Mm -hmm. You can go push out and drink.
We have some things that fight with others. The troublemakers will always isolate them. So we have two in there in isolation. Okay. Yeah, they are inside. Yeah, you can see one there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we also have the adams here. We have three here and then three on the other side. It's where they sleep at night. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they are afraid? And they are all quiet. <laughs> Watching us. Yeah. <laughs> By then there, are, there used to be a few here. Yeah, yeah. Tito, we have mango. 
Okay. So the one that was throwing rock, the last okay. time is that one. Yeah. Yeah. Sonia! He's telling take food. Baby Sonia! Susie! So they also occupy the largest enclosure. Okay. This enclosure stretches all the way to the foot of the hill over there. Mm -hmm. It is eight acres. Eight acres. Eight acres, yeah, and it has its coins all around its electric fence. Okay. So only they come outside to take food? Yeah, from there they go back to the forest. They take food, then they go back inside the forest? Yeah, and if they are comfortable to see... Mm -hmm. So um, this is the last enclosure. Mm -hmm. And um, here we end our work, and I want to say thank you for visiting Takugama. And also, this is not the only work we do. We also do long and short hikes, where you go walk around the forest, yeah. you go to the cave, the waterfall, and see the beauty. We also have ecologies, accommodation. Maybe you want to stay for a month or two, you are mm -hmm. welcome anytime. We do yoga, we do bad work and breakfast. Mm -hmm. People that love bad, this is also a nice place to come and have time. Mm -hmm. And also the book where you wrote your name, you can drop a comment to evaluate our work. Mm -hmm. So when you go back to the shop, if you want to climb the tower, then we we'll go and try it. Yeah. So thank you once again for visiting Takugama. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.